Hi, this is Ali from SafeNet. I have here uh, a key, a provisional SL key. How do I know that it is provisional? First, by looking at the long number of the key ID in comparison to the shorter one when it is activated. And secondly, if I go to the activated one to the features, I can see features with this icon which says feature is locked to the machine hardware, which means it is activated. And in this uh, key, I see features with no icon that is locked to the machine. So this is a provisional one, and in order to activate it, what I do is I go to the uh, here to the Business Studio, and I need to create uh, an order with the type of product key base. I will add um, another product and produce a product key. This product key can be useful uh, later on to activate the key. Uh, but let's uh, hold on a minute because I would I would like to uh, create a C2V from the end user machine. As a matter of fact, the same the same machine, this machine. But just to uh, have a, a demonstration, uh, suppose that I'm the vendor and I, and I would like to have f uh, a C2V from the end user machine. I will create uh, from the customer services sorry, from the development task I will create RAS utility and provide it to the end user. The end user will use it in order to create a C2V. And now I can go to the manage uh, to the customer services manage activation put here the uh, put here uh, the, the product key that I used uh, that I created uh, before and then take the C2V that was created from the other user machine uh, put the output V2C of the update of the activation over here and then generate file the file was generated and I send it to the customer this is the one he will apply it using the ACC or like this update right and successfully and now if we go to the admin control center we see first that the uh, key ID number was is, has become uh, much smaller and if we go to the feature we see two features feature 5 and 0 uh, which belongs to the activated uh, activated uh, update so this key is uh, up activated already uh, and I can continue to work with it thank you for watching